Well, Paul would be watching this game, I guess. And uh, we do wish you well uh, with uh, your aspirations on Monday. I'm not saying that we wish that you win, but we wish you well. I was say, we've all got, our, one. We've got things crossed here. He's gone. It's not on again, is it? Yeah. A high tackle from the lower. From who? Who? Sorry, Foa. Oh. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, aloha to you two. Yeah, he's aloha gone. to Lisa uh, Afoa, unfortunately, for the Penrith side. Just put one of them lays on him, Mario, as he comes off. Hero, he deserved to go block. I just want to make a point about young John Skandalis. He's a dead ringer for blocker as a young bloke. Uh, can you, this is his first grade debut. Can you think of a tougher initiation in the first grade? It's been like a war out here on the sideline. Yeah, well, the war has just taken a dramatic change of events here with the foe sent off for that tackle on Langmack. <laughs> a lower. <laughs> well, it was a lower. <laughs> a lower foe. I think that's what the referee wanted. He wanted the tackle a bit lower. <laughs> Turn it up, you two. I thought you'd got it wrong, Blocker, but you were right. It was Aloha, you were trying to say, Ofoa. Reserve grade to the Magpies by two. And the President's Cup to Penrith by 12, and the tackle again by Ofoa on Paul Langmack. If, if Langers wasn't sick earlier, when we thought he might have been having us on, he's not real brilliant now. This time, he's not kidding. I hope that's not a knee injury to Paul Langmack hasn't, hasn't had a lot of luck with his knees over his career, hobbling off here now. <laughs> something more to do with his head. I just hope it's not his knees. Don't worry about his head. They're going to handle it. <laughs> that's not a knee injury. I think it, I think it might be his head. Well, I can cast knee. <laughs> If it's his knee, I reckon a Fowler has got an immediate defence story. No, I just said I hope it's not his knee. Listen. I'll tell you what, you can stay in the box any time you like. They're picking on you now. Anyway, he has been gallant tonight. Paul Langmack. Blood around the mouth and nose where he's taken the high shot. if it's really worked moving Squeeze Carter into the halfback position he's a ball player that generally plays on the fringe of the ruck hasn't done that much tonight charge down tackle counts restarting Matthew Adamson and then for Brown now for Carter Carter got away from a clutching tackle picked up support but now the Magpies with the flying fullback McGuinness down to the halfway line. And that will be a penalty. Carl McNamara appealing to the referee that the ball was down. And that's a contest. The referee's seeing it differently. He cut a shrugging off a would-be tackle. Got a nice ball around to Garen Casey. They drop the ball, Cole Casey, and trying to kick the football. Magpies now really have an opportunity to match up, to stitch up this match. If they can't score in five, the four goal must be the option. What's the story with Paul Langmack, uh, Mario? Yeah, just a report on Langmack. You're all wrong up there. It's not his head. It's not his knees either. He's got a back injury, believe it or not. Thank you, Dr. Fennick. <laughs> 28 metres away from the Penrith line. Justin Dooley. Mesher Coleman takes Kennedy with him. And he's lost it. It's stripped. It's a penalty to the Magpies. Put the hands in there. Well, I know we've been critical of the handling, but I think you'll find that many of these players will be complaining about the ball being hard to secure. Watch this. Dead center strip. Phil Adamson. 
And it should have been a pen. <laughs> McNamara. Somebody said that you're the master of strip. Brown. Farah. Cross now for Phil Adamson. Coleman. Coleman's appealing. Well, it must have been a mistake in there, which the touch judge, the far touch judge, has picked up. Tugger. Tugger is almost embarrassed the touch, uh, touch judge to get involved. He's got up screaming. You watch him, he looks across. Hey, what about you, he say? You saw it. The next thing the bloke nods approvingly. And here they are, into the space. Away he goes. There's his second. Kenny McGinnis scores. 16 to 6, the Magpies now. He's been very dangerous with limited opportunities, says Ken McGuinness. And from the scrum win, from the little mistake, he's been able to put on a simple manoeuvre here, straight through, shocking defence. And then Jason Williams trying valiantly, a little kick at the end was to no avail, and probably not particularly good either. But the second man, simple man, simple second man play here, executed by George Arliss, just put the Penrith defence in total disarray. The number 17, Darren Casey, had no idea. Well, I don't know what uh, the number two, Jason Williams, was doing too off his wing. Came in, allowed McGuinness to get on the outside here. Look at Steve George Arliss. Here's Williams trying to make up ground. Watching this man on the outside here. Yeah, a lot still, of trouble. I still think it was... It was poor communication between Darren Casey and Scott Petherbridge. That's where the hole opened up, and it was only because the second man passed brought Darren Casey in that opened up that hole. There was something. There was something happening after that try that was just so typical of Tugger Coleman. Ken McGinnis salutes the crowd. Craig Coleman went out of his way to almost go across and congratulate the touch judge that started it for them. He was screaming his lungs out, pointing at him as if to say, thank you, you got it right. He never lets up, does he? <laughs> Little tugger. He's still going, look. Oh. <laughs> like the man from Everett, he's oh. still going. Andrew Willis has missed this one from the touchline. 16 points to six with two minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. Now look at Coleman, that was where he drew the penalty. I think my words were he embarrassed the touch judge to get involved and give a call. That brought the scrum, he got the feed, and then after the try, he went out of his way to almost congratulate the same touch judge. <laughs> Talk about a schema. This boy, I shouldn't call him a boy, but 19. He's not much older, is he? He's played very well in his debut, Scandalous. Look at his work rate, Ray. 16 hit-ups for the young man. And a tough initiation for him. Well, they wouldn't come any tougher than this, would they? I don't think so. No, I'm sure they wouldn't. Dooley. Good handoff for Kennedy. I suppose, oops, Dooley. I suppose in many ways that try for the Magpies will ease the pain a little bit for Penrith because of that try that was given that wasn't a try. Ooh, Beckett. Taken heavily by Harris. Siren is about 35 seconds out. This Magpie crowd they're staying on they're going to celebrate this one right through with the sight set on the top eight and tonight will help don't forget to stock up on your black and white the best of the Maggies football here Matt Adamson probably the second last tackle of the night Brown Carter 
Intercepted. Pearson. Tackle. Full time. Thank you, Linesman. Thank you, ball boys. And one of the craziest matches I think we've seen for a long time. Comes to its end with the Magpies winning 16 to 6. It was played at Campbelltown. Some might have thought it was Madison Square Garden. 16 to 6, though. Kenny McGuinness, Darren Willis, Paul Langmack got the tries for West. And Girdler got the try for Penrith. The Magpies rack up their fifth win. And it's desperation days now for the Panthers, I'm sorry to say.